Hello everyone, it is time to hook a company employee to a company data network using wireless. So in this scenario, we've got a company employee on a laptop and they're going to be connecting to a wireless network that we're about to build. This wireless network is going to use WPA2 with Enterprise. What that means is we're going to go on the wireless LAN controller, configure a new wireless network to be deployed to our access point, and we're going to utilize Enterprise with authentication. That employee is going to need a username and password combo to get on the wireless network. And our wireless LAN controller is going to take those credentials that are submitted by the user. And they're going to forward them over to PCA, which is running as our RADIUS server. And it'll get a response back and either allow or disallow that company employee on the company network. So let's get started in configuring the wireless LAN controller. So here we are on the dashboard of our wireless LAN controller. We're going to start by clicking on Advanced. Instead of advanced, we're going to go to our section of wireless local area networks and we're going to create a new one. So we have the drop down set to create new. We'll go ahead and click on go. And we're going to name this. The profile will be company name. Our SSID, the wireless network name that our users will see, will also be company name. And that ID value, we can leave it at two. I'll click apply and now we have a lot more settings to look at. We'll enable this wireless network, and we're going to make sure that the interface is using our company data network, which is our VLAN 5. That's where the data is. VLAN 1 is our management network. We're leaving that alone. We can leave the rest of these settings at their default, and now we go to security. Inside of security, we see that we're allowing WPA and WPA2, but down below, we have 802.1x set by default. This is what we're going to utilize and use this in order to have our devices that connect to the wireless be requested for username password authentication. But we need to have those requests forwarded somewhere, and that's going to be our tab for the AAA servers. When I click on AAA servers, you'll see that no servers are currently selected. In a previous video, we actually identified a RADIUS server inside of our wireless LAN controller configuration. So in the server one dropdown, I can actually scroll down and I can select a previously identified RADIUS server. The port of 1812 is set as well as the IP address and this is the IP of PCA, which is running as the RADIUS server. We're not using any accounting feature, so we can leave that at the default of none. At this time, I can now click apply. And now the company name profile has been deployed on a wireless LAN controller and this wireless network will be shared out to our access point. Let's do some verification. So let's go ahead and click back and we should be able to see this wireless profile now created. And here you can see it, wireless LAN ID is two, remember that. It's a type of wireless local area network. The profile name we created was company name and the wireless LAN SSID, which is the wireless name the users will see is company name. We have this thing enabled and we're using WPA2 with 802.1x for our authentication that authentication being requesting usernames and password combos as our users connect to the wireless. But that's a verify that our wireless LAN controller can actually take a username and password combo that it will receive from a PC, forward it over to our RADIUS server, and have the RADIUS server respond back with a successful authentication message. To do that, we're going to the console port of our wireless LAN controller. So here we are on the console port of our Cisco wireless LAN controller. And we're going to use two different commands here in order to verify that our wireless LAN controller itself can take a username password combo, throw it against the RADIUS server, and have the RADIUS server respond back with a successful authentication message. So to get started, we're going to use the command test followed by AAA, and we're going to use RADIUS. The username command followed by the username of Bob. Because you know what? One of our wireless clients might have a username of Bob. And followed with the command password. And Bob's password is probably hello. That's a nice combo. And then we're going to specify that wireless LAN ID. And this was that ID value we saw in the GUI, which was an ID of 2. And this was the profile company name with the wireless SSID company name. And using WPA2 with our 802.1x authentication. So we're going to shoot this off to our radio server. And we should get a response back. And let's take a look at seeing that response. To see the response, we're going to use the command test, triple A, followed by show radius. And let's see what the server sent us back. Well, our server sent us back an authentication response result code success. 
we've successfully reached out to the Radius server from our wireless LAN controller with the credentials of Bob Hello, and the Radius server says that user is good to connect. This is awesome. Enjoy WPA2 with Enterprise targeting a Radius server on the wireless LAN controller.